Hey everybody, so this video is going to be uh, what's inside my coping box. Now what a coping box is, is a box that you put together of things that you find help you deal with difficult times. Um, mine particularly helps me deal with difficult times with my chronic illnesses and also the mental health issues that I struggle with. So you can use any box but my box just looks like this and this I got years ago and it's called Frown Cotton's Hat Box. Um, it contained a lot of makeup but it's a pretty box so I just thought to kind of use it for this. So when I open it the top just looks like this and I have a bunch of different things inside of it. The first thing is this Polly Pocket full of different bits and pieces. So it's got my favourite card that I've ever received. I can't promise to think, fix things or make everything all right, but what I can promise is that you don't have to face things alone. And I thought this was such a lovely card to receive and my mum gave it to me during my last hospital stay. I have this little bit of paper with um, different positive words to describe me. It was something we had to do in high school and basically describe everybody with positive words. I have the tickets from my trip to the Harry Potter studios down in London. It was like my favourite trip that I've ever been on because I love Harry Potter so it's a great memory. Then um, I just have a bunch of different cards. Um, my stepdad likes to make funny cards so this was my Christmas card from last year in the shape of Frozen. This is a birthday card that I got from one of my closest friends and they just wrote a bunch of stuff inside of it. This is a Christmas card I got with a duck that I received. Um, it generally looks kind of like that without the dressing gown on it. This was when I got into university, a congratulations card. This was one of the first 5Ks I ever sort of took part in. That's a congratulations card. This was a card to celebrate um, me coming back from the first beauty pageant I did in March and I won the Congeniality Award. And again, another funny Christmas card from two years ago and there's quite a bit of writing inside of it. Then next I have a colouring book. This particular one is Relax With Colours, Colour Therapy Patterns and I find it helps me when I'm upset and things. I have some sticky notes in the shape of butterflies. I just think they're really pretty and really quite nice. I have the Scrub of Your Life from Soap and Glory. I love the smell of Soap and Glory products and I love kind of pampering myself when I'm feeling a bit down. I've got... Um, a nut free uh, flapjack. I absolutely am addicted to these and um, I cannot personally get enough of them. This is just some more memories. This is just a thing from when I went on a school exchange and we studied Russian. And this is a sheriff badge from when I did a drama play and was the sheriff. This was from my first freshers week at university. Just good memories. A get well soon angel, a rubber duck from um, when I went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach with one of my closest friends. This is a piece of amethyst from the National Museum of Scotland. Some shells from a recent trip to the beach. This is my oh, planet stress ball. I just love the feeling of it and it's great to kind of take your anger out on some bubbles because they're really kind of fun to play with and distracting. This is just a thing of perfume. I love the smell of it. It's just a Primark perfume. Some tissues, just some sweets, some chewing gum. This is a wristband that I got in a care package and it actually helps support um, a charity that deals with self-harm. So I just put that in there. 
This is a bracelet that unfortunately I can't wear anymore because it's too big for my wrist but it's Harry Potter themed and I got this for my 21st birthday and I absolutely love it. Some uh, vanilla body butter, it smells amazing. I've got two different face masks, three bottles of nail polish because it always kind of cheers me up and makes me feel better painting my nails and a nail file. I've got some face wipes, this which is Snow Fairy Fun and it smells amazing, it's from Lush, sadly it only comes out at Christmas time but it smells so good and I love sort of using it for baths. This is just some um, bubble bath, some uh, body shop uh, body lotion, some shower milk in the smell of cherry, it's amazing. Some tea and some hot chocolate. I've got some colouring books to go with my uh, colouring, colouring pencils to go with my colouring book rather. This is because I identify with the spoon theory and you're called a spoony and basically you have a set number of spoons per day and it's a way of describing chronic illness where for instance going for a shower and um, getting dressed takes up three spoons and you might only have 12 spoons to last you the whole day. I've got one of my favourite books from childhood, we're going on a bear hunt, it just, it's just nice to read. This is something my mum got me, um, <laughs> it's kind of funny to read and makes me laugh. Another thing my mum got me is the Lady Bird book of dating, again it's funny to read. This is one of my favourite books, which is Robert Louis Stevenson, The, T um, the Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I absolutely love it and I've got a Bourbon Biscuit bookmark in the back. And lastly, I have The Secret book and The Secret is basically an amazing theory about how if you believe in yourself, you have better chance of things happening to you than if you think stuff won't happen to you and things like that so it's just a good to read and I recommend it. So that's everything that's in my coping box. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye!